I got to spend a week with the Leica M11 monochrome and it is not only a dynamic range beast but also an ISO giant. So here are my thoughts. I did a review of the Leica M11, the classic model, uh, about a year ago. And if you want to check it out, you can do so. And what I love about this range of cameras is not only their very pocketable size, so it actually is like basically a phone that you can hold up like this, um, but also that it makes you slow down in photography. And what I mean with that is that uh, it obviously takes you a while to get used to the way of focusing manually, um, which is on the M11 is not that um, difficult because you have focus peaking when you go through the uh, LCD finder. But it also, if you want to, for instance, change the ISO on it, you have to up the lever and uh, turn it and then put it down again. And if you want to go in between um, the shutter counts, you have to manually do it here or here with that small wheel. So it takes you a step back and it's not that shooting 20 frames a second, um, but it actually probably is one frame a second or maybe like three frames a minute because you have to think more carefully about composition and everything else. So I really, really liked it about this range of cameras and I have the M6 analog camera since a couple of months and I really enjoy it because it um, gives me some sense of peace. And having the sense of peace uh, makes you also thinking deep about the surrounding that you're in. You are more focused on uh, how you're going to set up your shot, especially when you do street style. You are more focused on what, how the people move, um, what the light is like, which uh, frame you want to uh, have the people when you sh shoot street, for instance, have it in. And uh, I love this about this range of cameras. And talking about the specs and obviously a monochrome, uh, version of a camera is always very very debatable as it's probably uh, a thousand euros more um, I, I will hopefully put it in once I release this video a thousand euros more than the actual M11 uh, model and it's always debatable if you actually need that and um, I cannot tell you that uh, there are people out there that only want to shoot monochrome and it is their style and this camera delivers the perfect monochrome picture obviously it has an insane i think 16 and a half stops of dynamic range um, it gives you an insane amount of iso and it goes up to 200,000. do i really need this do i not and obviously what leica did here is they pushed the limits of what a monochrome sensor can do which every monochrome sensor is better in dynamic range and better in iso as they don't have to take care too much about uh, any other pixels than um, than the black and white ones um, so it is a technically wonderful camera comes in the perfect shape and if you stick a 50 millimeter on which i did for most of the time it is just this compact beautiful um, camera that can deliver insane pictures so it, do i need it do i not need it personally i don't need a monochrome camera as I think if you put it uh, into monochrome profiles uh, with any camera this is plenty enough. Do I love this camera? I really really do. Not because of only the design but what type of pictures it delivers. I also had the chance to shoot um, uh, one girl uh, a portrait with them so here the pictures gonna uh, put them in uh, here. But I just love the way being it the M11, being it the M11 monochrome, uh, an MP, an M6, whatever it is, I just love this range of cameras because they are so specific and good for a photographer's soul. If you want to spend the money, it's obviously up to you. If you want to try a monochrome camera out for a week, I suggest you uh, do that and get really into this only seeing uh, black and white for a week, which is just lovely and it does something to your photography or the photography eye that is kind of not explainable but it makes you focus more on what's important. Um, having said that, thank you to Leica Austria for lending me this camera. Um, I'm really looking forward to probably owning one of those 
M digital cameras at one point. Uh, and uh, guys, leave you with that. Have a great day. <laughs>